Hey everybody, welcome back. I just decided that what I'm going to do is edit the video that I did yesterday to make it appropriate for 40 series cards, card users so that you guys don't have to jump around in the video and try and figure out which segments are applicable for you and which aren't. In the future, what I'm going to do is do separate videos for 20 and 30 series cards and 40 series cards where it's appropriate, where the procedure for those two is different rather than trying to mix them into one video and confuse people, which is the last thing that I want to do. So the following is what you guys need to do if you have a NVIDIA 40 series graphics card to get the new DLSS 3.7 preset E setup. There are a couple of things that we're going to need. One of them is DLSS tweaks. So you come here to Nexus Mods and I'll put these links in the description. And for the DLSS tweaks, you simply click on manual download and then click on slow download. And then it will bring up the, uh, the download window. So just save it to where you want to on your computer. Once you've downloaded DLSS tweaks, unzip the folder and we want to find our Microsoft Flight Simulator install. Um, I will put links in the description to where you can find these. Generally speaking, for store users, you go into your C drive, Xbox games, Microsoft Flight Simulator, content. And to confirm, this is where your flight simulator.exe file is. That's what you want. Now, the DLSS tweaks uh, edition of this, uh, or the DLSS tweaks program, what we want to do, um, first of all, right click enable NVIDIA SIG override, and then select merge. Click yes and yes, and you're done. Now we want to take the nvngx.dll file, drag it into your content folder. We want to take the DLSS tweaks config file, drag it in there again, and DLSS tweaks.ini, and dra uh, whoops, drag that in here as well. Now we want to edit the DLSS tweaks config.exe file. So double click on that. It's going to ask you to confirm. You open the file and you want to come down to DLSS presets. Now, theoretically, we should be able to use global forced preset to set them all to E, but I've had difficulty getting that to work. So the simple way to do it is simply go to DLSS presets and select each one and set them to E. Oops. And then you come up here and click save and you're all set. And you can now close this. Now for those of you with 40 series RTX cards, you need the frame generation DLSS file. I'll put the link in the description. You click on download of the 3.7 version, download the file, save it wherever you want to, open the folder where you've saved it, extract the file, and then you want to take that DLSS G file and you want to paste it into your content folder. You just simply drag it, copy and paste, whatever you want to do, confirm that you want it to be overwritten, and you're good. Now, for 40 series cards, you, card users, you would then use DLSS Swapper to update the regular DSS file to version 3.7.0. Again, come in here into the library if download the file you would click on this you know the the down arrow would be here i've already got the file click on the download link the 3.7 file will download 
come back here into your games list, click on Microsoft Flight Simulator, click on 3.7, and just click Swap, and you're good to go. So now for the 40 series users, you've got the frame gen file and the DLSS file, the regular DLSS file. All right, here we are in the sim, and we just come over here on Options, General Options, and as you can see, we've got frame gen set up. Everything is looking good here. One other thing you want to do, go into your content folder, and there is a file called dlssTweaks.log. Double click on that and open that file. And what you're going to see here is a list of the DLSS presets that are being used. And all of them that we set to E should show E. That's how you can confirm which one that you're using. So now we know that the DLSS presets that we chose are all being used in the sim. So that's the way to confirm that everything is working properly. So let's go and see what it looks like. All right, here we are in beautiful Les Saints in Guadeloupe. And here we are in the mighty Cessna 152. And we've got frame gen running. We have the DLSS version 3.7. This is also one of the bespoke airports that Asobo did in the World Update 16 Caribbean Edition. And as you can see, everything looks absolutely beautiful. So now we are all set. Uh, any questions that you might have, please don't hesitate to put them in the comment section. Hope this video is a lot easier to understand and more comprehensive. I would also like to thank people who have made comments to the previous video that I did yesterday. There were a couple things that uh, specifically regarding the 40 series RTX graphics cards that I did not include in yesterday's video, and I should have. Um, this kind of popped up out of nowhere, and I wanted to get this to you guys as quickly as I could, but I should also always temper that with making sure that I do a good job and everything is complete. Please understand I do take your feedback very seriously. I don't want to do anything that is going to mislead anybody or going to you know, God forbid, uh, you know, cause anybody to mess anything up. And uh, so I, I thank you guys for your feedback. I thank you for your patience and tolerance <laughs> for me. Um, I really appreciate the support, and I hope this works out very, very well for you. Again, please leave any comments or questions that you have or any success stories that you have in the comments section of the video. I hope this is a this is a a big win for you guys, and I really appreciate everybody watching, and I hope you guys have a great day.